Well, welcome to my land of make-believe. Artists have great imaginations, and what is fabulous about what we can do is we create our own worlds. And I have a couple of pop-up structures here that I thought you'd be interested in learning how to make. And over here we have my friend the elephant, and he's cavorting in a tropical pool with his friend. And here on the farm we have a pig that is doing the same thing with his friend. Over here we have a duck that's walking down a country lane, and over here we have an alien that is flying through his country lane. So all these have been out of my imagination, and it's so much fun to be able to kind of create your own world. So I'm going to show you here. It goes down, and it's all flat. And you open it up, and it pops up. And that's a very, very simple structure, and so that is what I will show you right now. So here is one that has not been embellished, and you can see how simple it really is. Uh, I'll show you the easiest way of doing it, but you can also, if you're very careful about measuring uh, pieces of paper and taping them down, then you can do it without having a hole in the structure. But essentially, you take a piece of paper, and this is a nice heavyweight Bristol paper. You want it to have a nice structure so that it can stand up. You fold it in half. You take a pair of scissors and you decide where you want your pop out. And I just let the scissors go until it clicks, until it clicks. So I have two parallel cuts. I open it up, pull it. I recrease that front edge and gently put it down, put a little pressure, and magically there's the pop-up structure. So it doesn't take anything at all to do. And then it's just a matter of drawing something on a card, taping it. That'll go down. That'll come up. All right. Now, on this one, too, you can also see that I have a little extra. This is a paper spring. So if I press it down, it goes flat. When I let go of it, it opens up. And I'll show you how to do that as well. So what I recommend doing, once you've come up with your first initial cut, Take something like a gel marker or some watercolor and do the background first. So let's, we're kind of on the jungle theme. And let's and take advantage of this being able to be kind of soft and smeary. And then I take some brown paint. Let's put a couple trees in here. And I'll take a gel crayon. And some sky. All right, I think you get the picture. And then let's have. Uh, Let's have a little water coming in from this side. Now, this is going to be the ground, because that's going to be the part that stays flat. And we'll put a few more bushes. All right, so that's our background. And it'll stand up. And then. Like any jungle creature that's in a fine setting like that should have a big smile. And you don't always have to cut right to the line. Sometimes, just so long as you kind of get the general shape. Cut that off. I'll take some adhesive dots here. Put my elephant, there he is, pops up. Now for that little paper spring, just take two pieces of paper. I cut these little strips out, put one on top of the other, and you weave that one over on top of that one, that one on top of that one, that one on top of that one, until you get as thick as you want. Put a little adhesive on that, 
bend it over, trim it. And I can put some more adhesive there and pop it up there and who knows, maybe another bird or a beautiful butterfly or something like that. And so you can see that when I close it, it's flat. And when I open it up, everything pops out. So you can put yourself in the jungle. You can put yourself in outer space. You can draw all sorts of things. And it's just a matter of using your imagination to do make-believe worlds.